Um, yeah, basically I knew I, I, I was close to the flag and then I was falling backwards here. So my plan was try to wrap my feet around the flag and rip it down while I was still had the last shot at it. I came up and I seen them all coming out after the pole towards me, running at me. And then I looked and then I found the flag in front of me floating. I was like shocked. I never was an athlete. I was very lucky the year I won it. It's, it's all in the feet. It's how you place your feet. Peter Pantero, oh my God, that kid can walk and his feet actually... His feet will be on the side of the pole and he'll somehow grapple himself and balance himself and continue on. Peter Frontiero. It's amazing. Peter Frontiero. Peter Frontiero. Peter Black. Peter Black. Peter Black. Here he goes. One more time. I used to watch everything in the city. Pretend I was Mata or my cousin Samo or Salvi. My first year, I was 14 years old. I'm up there with grown men. I was very nervous. They said, look ahead, do not look behind you. Because <laughs> those, those guys are crazy back then. There was a lot of crazy characters up there. <laughs> Peter's walking. Peter, oh. <laughs> What's he doing up here? He's not supposed to be here. It took him a couple years to win it. I don't know, my hey, first year hey. I won it. Oh, oh, that was an 84? Yeah, first year ever. Never stepped foot on that platform in my life. I'll never forget my first experience of, you know, up there and witnessing it. Split my chin. There's six stitches here, that's uh, for life. Uh, broke uh, ribs twice, dislocated my shoulder, and knocked out a tooth. Broken ribs to punctured eardrums to people getting knocked out cold and hitting the pole. He come up, he says, I, he had a big clump. He says, I think I'm bleeding like that. I take it off, right? And I took the grease off, and all of a sudden the blood started pouring out. I said, wait, I'll fix that. <laughs> He'll put it back on. There you go. How's that? Of course, first round's a courtesy round. You know?